Hello friends, uh, myself Amar. In this video, I will discuss the first UI control of JFonix that is JFX Hamburger. Okay, I have already created the design. Let me explain how it will work. First of all, you need to take the control. Just type here JFX Hamburger. Now, if you scroll this, then this is the control which I have taken. I have taken four JFX Hamburger controls. And I have provided the ID. How to provide ID to a particular control that I have discussed in my previous videos. Okay. Now, if you move to its controller file, let me move it here. Then these are the controls. I have taken four hamburger with ID as ham1, ham2, ham3, and ham4. Right. Now, this type of control you have seen in Androids, right? How these controls will work in GFX? Let me show you. Here, let me uh, produce the output first, then I will explain. Let me run this. Wait for a while to produce the output. Yes, this is the output. Now, if you click here, see, we are getting different, different kinds of animations, right? Now, how to use these different, different kinds of animations? that i need to discuss okay first animation which i am discussing that is the hamburger back arrow basic transition okay you need to create the object of this class and after that you need to associate where this animation will be uh, associated i am associating uh, this particular uh, animation with the ham1 id right after that i have written obj1 which is nothing but the object of this particular class obj1 dot set rate inside bracket i have written minus one Minus one means this particular hamburger will be in normal mode. Okay. Now, after that, I will associate mouse event with this particular hamburger. How to do that? Ham one, I have used the method add event handler inside parenthesis. I have written mouse event dot mouse click. This means I am associating mouse click event with this particular hamburger control, right? And after that, here I have used lambda expression inside lambda expression. What I have done? I am trying to change the animation. Okay, what I have done? Obj1, which is nothing but the object of this particular class. Obj1 dot set rate. This means I am setting a new value. Obj dot set rate inside parenthesis. I have written Obj1 dot get rate. Now already I have set the rate as minus one. This means this get rate method will return minus one. And after that I am multiplying it with minus one. This means whatever value I will fetch from here, that will be multiplied by minus one. Now, in the initial case, minus 1 will be multiplied with minus 1. This means the set rate will be 1. If it is 1, this means now it will be in the activated mode. This means if the set rate method we are using minus 1, then that will be in the normal mode. And if it is 1, then that will be in the activated mode. Okay. And after that, we need to uh, start the animation by using the play method. Okay. Now, once you do this, you will get this output. Now, if you are using this one, hamburger back arrow basic transition. Now, if you click this, see, we are getting a back arrow. That's why the name is given like this. Similarly, rest all the methods will be same. The classes will be different. Now, here I have used hamburger basic close transition with the ham2. Hamburger next arrow basic transition with ham3 and hamburger slide close transition with the ham4 control. Now based on these classes, you can see the animations here, right? This is the back arrow transition which I have discussed. Now this is the basic close transition. See if you click here, it is close. Okay. Hamburger next arrow basic transition. Now, if you click this, see we are getting a next arrow. Now, next we have hamburger slide close transition. This means if you click this, there will be arrow and after that there will be a cross. See the animation. First of all, arrow is coming, right? This is the hamburger slide close transition. Okay. This is how we can use hamburger control in Java FX and this is the entire code which I have written. Okay. Let's see. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.